Hi, hello everyone. This is Richard Solomon or Cha Solomon of my YouTube channel, Cha and My Narratives. And uh, the Stroke Survivor. Uh, very soon, today is April 11, like seven days, seven days more will be my six year anniversary of my uh, stroke of, of, of my stroke then almost six years ago maybe six years na uh, when I had that stroke in Hong Kong I was half paralyzed dito sa left part ko and uh, yun nga um, I I, I, I just thank the Lord for another six years of life no? na binigay niya sa akin I should, have been, I should have died maybe during supposedly during that time kasi bubuksan sana yung ulo ko uh, nung nakita nila yung bleeding dito sa, sa, ano, oh, sa skull ko sa loob fortunately enough ay, siguro yun na yung dinasal ko na Huwag po sanang hayaang magtuloy-tuloy yung pagdurugo kasi kung hindi, bubuksan na Lord, sabi ko, pahinto yung may pagdurugo. And uh, God works in mysterious ways. By next morning, nung pukunin na ako ng mga doktor for a possible operation, they scanned me first. No? Sinitiscan muna lang. And they found out na um, tumigil yung pagdurugo. And uh, they said that uh, hindi na itutuloy yung yung pag-crainatology ang tawag nila I don't know uh, it's uh, para bubuksan para mawalis yung pressure but uh, I could have died kung natuloy yun or maring naging lantang gulay ako and I na na akong find out so uh, thank you God well you know, you know during these times of pandemic uh, lockdown, ECQ. Since a year ago, ang hirap i-maintain yung pagiging positive ng natin. Eh, no? I'm a very, very positive person. I'm a very happy guy. Um, gusto kong palagi scenario is masaya lang sana. And uh, nasabi ko nga sa pre, yung mga una kong vlogs is um, I had like a setback since five years ago. Going six years now, actually. No? Parang kasabay rin ng stroke. So, ang dami nang nangyari. Kung napanood niyo yung vlogs ko na yun, yung setbacks in life. And, uh, still the struggle is meron pa rin. Tuloy-tuloy pa rin. Kasi, uh, I'm, stri I'm still struggling with my finances. With my business na uh, natigil since ika second year na no? uh, kasi I have a tourist company na kung sana walang pandemic walang COVID na to eh nung last year pa usually to like 3-6 months before may mga booking na ako eh uh, sa tours ko no? so and er Last year, supposedly, may mga booking na, but sabi ko, hindi pa. Hanggang sa itong tumawid ng uh, taon na, no? uh, even before April lang ngayon, eh. January, February, March, tuloy-tuloy na may nagtatanong kung pwede na mag silang bumiyahe papuntang kumalig, no? kasi daroon yung tours ko rin. No? And sabi ko, wala pang go signal ng Department of Tourism. Ang LGU lang humalik, wala pa. Wala pang nakakapasok doon na dayo eh. Kung meron man, it should, it, mga, para mga special uh, occasions or events lang na in ng LGU. So, life has been tough um, since two years ago. And I'm trying other means and ways para mga survive. And honestly, uh, the, the 
one, one reality that I uh, can reveal. Ako, ever since, wala, wala akong problema sa, sa life ko. If it, if it would be a public knowledge, wala naman akong tinatago. At uh, ang importante sa akin, wala akong mga nilokong tao. Wala akong I, I never step on someone else's foot. No? And uh, ito siguro yung way ko ngayon since I've, I've done vlogging to come out in the open na rin. Pati sa family ko. No? And uh, I know I am misunderstood in so many ways and maybe I don't blame them for, totally blame them for the reason na uh, may mga nangyari prior na hindi nila totally alam eh, no? Just like this afternoon, uh, sa pamamalengke ko, I decided to umikot na rin ako bago umuwi na dito sa pad ko. And while I was walking, uh, I suddenly had this uh, memories na realize ko parang late parang late bloomer I, I can say I am a late bloomer into so many things late bloomer you know, if you know what's a late bloomer you know, yung para bang, uh, like like for example sa pangiligaw I consider myself even during nung high school I late uh, uh, ano ko late hindi, late bloomer ako dahil nagkaroon ako ng girlfriend na legit na girlfriend nung ako ay actually medrep na pero nung high school college graduate ako pareho hindi ako nagkaroon ng girlfriend no for the reason that uh, siguro ang inferiority ko noon is mataas dahil uh, wala kami noon eh uh, ni pan date wala ako eh no so yung nililigaw ko nga noon eh uh, She's still a friend of mine today and she has a family of, his, of her own na, no? And, uh, hinahatid, pagkagaling sa school, si hinahatid ko siya. Minsan, pag umaga na, sinusundo ko pa. So, naging kakilala na ako ng parents na, no? Eh, mabait naman akong bata. Tapos, and I always thought, okay na yun. Ayaw pala. Kulang na lang pala. Ang hinihintay na lang pala niya is formally, talaga, officially, parang manligaw ako. Akala ko wala na ganun. Basta contento na ako. Akala ko okay na ako. Parang MUMU lang. So, nung ako yung nag... By the time na real shoot, teka, parang may kulang. Parang kailangan maging official. Nung ako yung nag... Ano na? Nag... Nag... <laughs> nag... Uh, propose na ba yun? Sinabi ko rin talaga intentions ko. I was turned down. I was busted for the first time. Hindi dahil sa hindi niya ako gusto umabot na pala sa puntong na inip na siya at nagkaroon na siya ng ibang gusto o may mas masugid pa masugid pa kaysa sa akin so yan yung isang blooper na nangyari pati hindi ako galit noon pero um, it, it, I, I just find it funny now no and then also nung earlier days na sabi ko hina ako talaga no? ganun talaga ako torpe no? tapos so Late bloomer ako for the reason na hindi, yun nga, ano na ako eh. Actually, may drip na ako nung una ako nagka-officially, nagkaroon ako ng girlfriend, yun ha. Kasi may pera na ako. Uh, may lakas na ako nandun. I was also, I, I think, late bloomer. Ito, lately ko lang rin na-realize. Uh, It has something to do with uh, uh, lately, of course, uh, tayo yung lahat may family, may mga kapatid tayo, and uh, hindi naman lahat every time is good vibes sa family, no? sa mga gamang kapatid. Tulad ako, earlier, inamin ko nga, ako yung baon na baon sa utang ngayon sa mga kapatid ko. No? Because there was a time that I was doing a project, a big project, a 2 billion project supposedly na nawala yun. And, and I had uh, invited my, my siblings to invest in me. 
And of course, na, na, nag-invest sila sa akin, not exactly as utang ko, nag-invest sila sa akin. But along the way, and I was very thankful and grateful to the support of my siblings, no, mga brothers ko. But unfortunately, along the way, kung kailan mabibili na na, na, na dapat babayaran, ano na, may, na, na, may ibibenta ko na yung kinonsolidate ko mga properties sa isang island is that was the time parang may nanloko sa akin. So, some, somebody tricked me, somebody, uh, uh, what do you call this? Natry dura ko. Natry dura ko. No? I, I don't want to name names anymore. So, I lost that project and I lost that capacity to repay at bayaran yung mga kapatid ko and at the same time, uh, of course, syempre may tubo yun. Eh. Kaya nga sila nag pahiram sa akin or nag invest sila the word is invest I'll just correct the notion pautang uh, nag invest sila sa akin with the promise of an interest a big interest so I lost that chance of paying them up to now and uh, ano um, pati yung tubo so to cut it short yes may sama ng loob sa akin mga uh, and then sabi ko hindi naman ako tumitigil maghanap ng pagkakita o trabaho and then uh, sabi ko mababayaran ko rin yan hintay hintay na which is I am just waiting for an opportunity also again actually a big break that I made last year at hinihintay ko rin yung kabayaran nun so I'm very confident that I will be able to pay that but ano ang relasyon na ito sa pagiging late bloomer no I realized I was also a late bloomer in uh, of uh, ano ba tawag dito yung yung paggustuhan mo yung sarili mo I was a late bloomer in spoil to spoil yourself no in English late bloomer ako on that premise for the reason na it's only lately that I realized kasi the truth was medyo I was like I was hit like I hit like I hit a brick wall medyo tinamaan ako doon sa words na nasabi sa akin ng mga kapatid ko na kaya daw kasi magasos daw ako maluho mahilig sa mamahaling pagkain, ma ma mamahaling resto ang pagkain, para kung I was taken aback when I heard that, no, sa message, uh, when, I, when, when I read the message ng mga kapatid ko, and I was reflecting, bakit nga pala ako gano'n? Bakit nga pala? Kasi, yeah, I would admit, ma, ma Mahu maluho ako sa sapatos sa ano sa pananamit and I realized way back when I was a medical representative ako po yung unang kumikita sa pamilya no? I realized uh, stages nung kumikita na ako dahil ako yung unang kumikita at nag-aaral pa yung mga kapalit ko I realized I, I think I have deprived myself during those earlier times na kumikita na ako of spoiling myself for the things, for the money that I was earning already as professional medical officer. Maganda yung kumpanya ko eh. At malaki kinikita ako rin nun. Kumukomission ako. And I remember very well na nagbibigay ako sa mga sa magulang ko, especially sa mother ko, inaabot ko yung pera palagi every time so well daw ko so it and I know it was spent well by my mother kasi wala namang bisyo rin ng magulang ko nanay ko at alam ko sa bahay sa kuryente sa tubig sa renta sa bahay ganda mo mo pangahan na kami noon at and I know sa mga kapatid ko but I never gave any of my siblings directly o ito para sa'yo walang ganun kasi uh, sa nanay ko lang binibigay Naging concern ko yun. And, and that that actually officially started when I was third year and fourth year high school. 
when I was a janitor and a waiter sa nung high school ako, working student sa isang restaurant sa Tugega no? And uh, so depriving of myself was actually a lot earlier bago pa naging medra pa ko. Tapos nung nagmedra pa ko, I was already earning well. And again, hanggang sa even nagka-family ako, I was even depriving myself. Dahil, bukod sa naging family ko na, nagpapadala pa ako sa, uh, dinadala ko pa sa nanay ko. Of course, sa family ko rin, sa mga pag-aaral ng mga kapatid ko. Not directly, it was Christian female. Yeah. But there was one of my brothers also na pumunta mismo sa place ko, sa lugar na sa Isabela, kung saan may, doon yung family ko na, no? my own family din. And uh, para sa tuition din niya. Siya lang yung naabot ako ng diretso. Why, why am I saying all this? It's only lately I have realized na nag-reflect ako, bakit nga pala ako naging maluho na sinasabi ng kapatid ko ngayon? I think my, my, my siblings forgot the fact that I was the very first one who was earning in the earlier days of our lives. But during the times I was earning, I was actually depriving myself of ready. And it was only lately, lumabas yung siguro pang sinasabing pag i spoil ko sa sarili ko. And still, it hit me like a brick wall because medyo naisumbat na sa akin yung pagiging ganun ko. By the way, wala po akong bisyo sa, ano, sa mga sugal-sugal. Wala akong ganun. Even sa drugs, wala akong ganun. Siguro, eh, lalo na ngayon, pamin paminsan-minsan, mga once in a blue moon, in a month, nagre-red wine ako. But that's all. Pagkain, yes, because una ko nakatigil, nakaranas kagad ako at an early at early time. Nung med na ako, nakapas, pupunta na kami sa 5-star hotel, 5-star resort, sa companies ko. Doon ako natuto ng masarap na pagkain. And I can remember, and I could remember well, at hindi na wala na to sa sarili ko yung naituro ng mga mentors namin. You know what, cha? When you are, when you start earning, and uh, you go to very good restaurants, very good food, taste the good, taste quality food. Uh, busugin mo sarili mo ng masasarap na pagkain. Not, not exactly the quantity, but the taste of very good food. You know why? Because that goes to you, to your body. It nourishes you. Iba yung lasa na masasarap na pagkain. And I, and I would admit, it became like a vice to me. So, kung ako ba ay paminsan-minsan ngayon na nagmakain sa masasarap na restaurant, is that a sin? Kasalanan ba yun? Eh, nung una akong nagtatrabaho, na, <laughs> na-deprive ko yung sarili ko eh. Because inuna ko yung pamilya ko. Hindi man alam na mga kapatid ko. But, uh, ngayon ko lang na-realize rin yun. Na instead, binagasos ko sana sa sarili ko o sa pamilya ko, ay bibigay ko pa. Of course, hindi ko naman naibigay sa kanila eh. Sa individually, sa akin. Hindi. Walang ganun. Kaya wala silang recollection ng ganun. Anyway, Uh, meron na akong nabasa rin kanina kaya siguro medyo na ano, kung may pasensya na medyo humaba na to medyo uh, nakapag-reflect ako dito sa nabasa ko no? sabi this is not actually like a biblical ex uh, verse no? but it's it's a Christian uh, quote no? and I would read no? sabi dito the devil knows your name but but they call you of your sins by your sins 
But God knows your sins and He calls you by your name. Sabi daw, ang demonyo daw ang tawag, kilala, kilala yung pangalan mo, pero tinatawag ka niya dahil doon sa kasalanan mo. Kilala ka niya dahil doon sa kasalanan mo. Pero ang Diyos daw, alam niya yung kasalanan mo, pero tinatawag ka niya by your name. Uh, medyo nagtugma yung araw na ito yung mga reflections ko dun sa sa Christian quote na yun no? kasi parang isa isang kasabihan rin na sa either Tagalog or English na minsan nga daw sa buhay sa either sa pamilya or sa mga kaibigan na meron kang siyam na bagay siyam na bagay na nagawa na maganda. Pero, yung minsan ka lang nagkamali, yun ang hindi nila makalimutan. Anyway, uh, with that, siguro I'm just pouring out. Pasensya na sa lahat. Tumagal naman to. But, uh, I hope if you, you would if you would uh, watch this till the end, sana may mapunod tayong mga lesson no? uh, sometimes we never knew the value of, of, of some persons in our life maybe family or friends uh, of all the things that he or she may have done to anyone uh, minsan ang nakikita na lang natin yung, yung kapangitan sa isang tao pero yung mga kabutihan nawala na no na mas kahit mas marami yan. anyway i only hope and pray that someday i would repay all my brothers and i know very soon i will uh, tutubuan ko pa yung mga ano and uh, pera lang yan eh. ako ako yung unang kumita sa family pero you know what hindi ko naging ugali yung pera, naging ano ko, basehan ko ng buhay. It's just a tool. It's just a tool for me. Anyway, with that, um, pasensya na po kayo, na-share ko sa inyo yung sentimento ko. At, uh, but uh, I hope you could find at least, or pick up a lesson or two. Well, this is life. Kaya ito talaga eh. No? Uh, ito yung sinasabing facts of life. With that, this is uh, Richard Solomon again, the stroke survivor. Laban lang tayo. We, from my YouTube channel, Chain by Natives. As I always say, peace, God bless, and love one another more so your families. I love my brothers and sisters so much. At hindi mababago yan. Makakabawi rin ako ba na? Very soon, very soon. Bye. Cheer up, cheer up. <laughs>